What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Judas Priest. And once again, big shout out to Cindy uh, for sharing this. And we're going back to the Unleashed in the East live concert in Japan, uh, 1979. And we're going to listen to Diamonds and Rust. I like the juxtaposition diamonds, you know, much coveted uh, throughout human history right up into the present for their bright and shiny and lustrous quality, um, you know, seen as um, symbols of prestige and affluence and so on, used in, you know, modern and very complicated uh, economic and political exchanges. Um, and then rust is, you know, the weathering of a, a metal to the point of oxidation of a metal such that, um, you know, it corrodes and becomes, you know, incapable of performing whatever um, function the tool previously did. So diamonds and rust, there's a contrast, there's the you know, the desirable and the shiny with the eroded and weathered and no longer useful. So, um, you know, not sure where those concepts will meet in the middle. I feel like the juxtaposition and the, the contrast might be part of it. So let's find out what it is. This is Judas Priest, Diamonds and Rust uh, from the uh, live performance in 1979 called Unleashed in the East, live in Japan. Diamonds! Rust! <laughs>
for that next time. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. Uh, I didn't catch everything, but it's like, you know, we're talking about memories and memories bring diamonds and rust. So maybe it's like, you know, there's good memories, there's bad, like, you know, you don't really have control over what ones stick with you. And generally speaking, it's probably going to be a mixed bag. Um, but there were other aspects to it that I wasn't able to catch on the first listen. But I mean, his vocals, it's crazy. You know, there's been a couple times where I've just been utterly blown away by the he can just go up high, you know, like this, like towering, like banshee type of delivery. Um, even like before that, he's already like at a really high, like rich, like operatic level. Um, but a couple times in this one, it's like he went down low, especially near the end. And it was like this bluesy metal delivery. I don't know how to describe it. So um, I did enjoy that. Um, and yeah, ultimately, you know, I'll listen some more and ultimately, as I've said before, if I go through a few listens of a song and I still can't get the lyrics, I do look online. And these days, you know, the different deep dives, like people will just comment right away, like, oh, well, here's the line that you were like having trouble and so on. Um, so yeah, bottom line, one way or another, I will, um, get a fuller scope of this one, but I do enjoy the, like everything. It's like the guitar work. It's like, right as I'm starting to think about his vocals, the guitar just kind of went to this next level and instantly sort of took my attention. It was like, holy smokes, like the guitar, like just, you know, flourishing and flaring out at the end. So, um, again, I'm very new to their work uh, and ultimately metal. My experience is very, very limited. Um, you know, Iron Maiden, I've come to know a decent amount. Um, still not as much as, you know, the Maiden folks who've been listening to them for like four decades. But um, again, I do have all their studio albums with Bruce involved and, you know, I know the songs on a notable level compared to, you know, this, which is, um, you know, it's certainly working in a different or a similar lane sonically, um, but it's entirely unknown to me. And again, with their lyrics, now I've heard, I don't know what, like five, six songs, but I'm still getting a sense for, you know, the, the essence of their songwriting and the, you know, the... The themes at play in their tunes so um yeah bottom line loving this concert a couple people have mentioned that like you know if you enjoy this you really should hear the studio versions of these songs and so on i'm totally sympathetic to that but you know this is what was made available what we'll start with once again shout out to cindy so um we'll go through the rest of this and we'll see what else we can do with judas priest so let me know what you think i will see you next time peace